pixie friends and my silver sisters. If you are brand new to my channel, welcome. My name is Carrie Jessica. I talk a lot about learning how to style this pixie hair, wavy hair, gray hair, hair care in general. Sometimes I open things I spend too much money on. If those things sound like they are interesting to you, hit the subscribe button and hang out with me more often. Today I am going to show you how I go from freshly washed flat hair to this. So if you want to see, keep watching. So let me give you a 360 of what it looks like with no product in it. I don't dislike my hair in this natural state at all whatsoever, but I am going for more of a pompadour faux hawk type style. I like for my hair to be larger than life. And I've finally found a method of like how I'm styling it and products that I'm using that are giving me that big volume consistently so I am ready to share with you what I've been doing. I'm so excited. My fingers are crossed because <laughs> we would only figure that the time that I chose to record it, it would not work out. We're not going to go there. We're not going to be negative. This is going to be great. It's going to go great. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my hair a little bit more than damp, pretty wet. I like to style my hair wet forward. That way when I add a heat protectant in, it is really absorbing and locking in some moisture before I add some heat to it. So now that my hair is wet, the very first thing that I'm going to go in with is from Design Me. This is a leave-in conditioner called Fab Me. This they did send to me um, as a gift. This is the only thing that was gifted. Everything else that I've bought and paid for. My hair is dripping down my neck. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with just a little bit. I still tend to have an issue with being heavy-handed. I still feel like I have like hair, but I don't. <laughs> so I'm just going to use one spray. Ooh, two sprays. I'm not good at being light-handed. And I am just gonna really go in in different directions just to get my hair really coated. I have been using a medicated shampoo for psoriasis slash dermatitis. If you've hung out with me for a while, you already know that. It is drying, so I am definitely adding leave-in conditioner even though I only have this little bit of hair. Now that I have my leave-in conditioner in, I'm gonna go in with a very small amount of Dry Bar's Hot Toddy. This is a heat protectant, and I am just using this much. That's probably even more than what I need, so this is it. And again, I'm going in all different directions because I have not used heat tools um, in a very long time before this haircut. So I really just want to make sure that this hair is protected. Not to mention, if you have gray hair, if you're embracing your silver hair and you use heat tools, they can really turn your hair yellow if you're not protecting your hair. Now that I have my heat protectant in, I'm going to go in with a little bit of dry me. I meant to use one spray. I used two. That's just how I am. But anyway, this seals the cuticle of the hair so it keeps the hydration and the good stuff in but allows it to dry faster. This also does, um, this also does have some heat protectant in because it is sealing that cuticle. And anything that I have left in my hands, I just kind of run it along my undercut. The hair there doesn't really need any protecting in any kind of a serious way, but you know, it's on my hands. <laughs> now that I have all the stylers and my hair that I use, my hair is wet to damp, I'm going to use my Dyson dryer. I have this really small compressor nozzle and I'm going to rough dry it, meaning I'm not really being careful. My main focus is just to already start creating that upward motion with my hair. By the way, this Dyson dryer is very expensive. You do not need to have this dryer at all. I'm going to use high heat. No, I'm not. I'm going to use medium to high speed and low to no heat.
so my hair is all the way dry and as you can see we have already started to create this upward motion however there's no hold to it if I just left it like this it would split down my natural part in a matter of an hour I'm going to alligator clip this section of my hair out of the way so that I can focus on the very back of the top of it and the sides. When I use my curling iron, I'm going up and slightly forward with it. And on these sides, we're going up and slightly in. That will help create the support of what I'm going for. The straightener that I'm using is from Dry Bar and I personally set it at 280. That is a nice setting for me to where it is hot enough to where it does what I need it to do, but it's not so hot that the heat protectant doesn't protect my hair from it. And if I can see things in the back that just don't want to go up, I don't, I mean, even though I am using products and heat tools, I'm not necessarily trying to fight my hair. If a piece of my hair really wants to do something, I'm just gonna make it work. So now that my hair is all curled, flattened, so now that my hair has, is all going in the direction that I want it to go, I'm not really messing around with it yet. I haven't broken up like the the, cast almost from the flat iron. I'm going to go in with Puff Me Light. I'm going to go in at my roots. I personally don't like to get this further through my hair. I like to use a spray wax for that. And this is really handy because it has a nozzle. Some of these are powders that you just kind of dump on your head. This, I feel like I have a little bit more control over where it goes. And since I'm new to using this type of styler, I need all of the help I can get. <laughs> So now I have that puff me light in. I'm just going to go in with my fingers and kind of uh, rub it in for lack of a better word. This stuff is so good at giving volume. So now you can see we have things going in the right direction, but this is not enough hold. If I were to leave it like this, it would fall very quickly. So now I'm gonna go in with Kevin Murphy. This is a spray wax. This one's called Touchable. There is another one called Bedroom that I've used in the past, but we're talking years ago. I really don't remember enough about Bedroom versus Touchable to tell you the difference between the two, but I will tell you that I am using Touchable now and I have been loving it. 
So this is a really fine mist of a spray wax. It leaves your hair sticky at first, but it is touchable in the sense that it's flexible. You can kind of control it after it's in your hair, unlike a hairspray that kind of freezes it. And this stuff smells so good. So now that I have touchable in my hair, now is when I'm going to run my fingers through it and just kind of shape things where I want them to go. And because I did have that piece of hair that really was intended to go up, it didn't want to, I'm just going to use this brush and I have um, some of the touchable waxes on my hand still from running my fingers through it. So I'm just going to run my hand down it. That should have that guy where he wants to be. And then in this top section, I just like to kind of take pieces and wave them in different directions. All right, guys, that is it. 360. Let's check it out. I did use several products in my hair and if you are a product minimalist that might seem overwhelming but each of those products served a very different unique purpose for my hair to create the overall look and I used a very small amount of each product especially if you have a hairstyle like this your hair products will probably last you quite a long time. Okay guys that is it from me today with my pompadour slash faux hawk style that I have been rocking and loving. I am obsessed with my hair. Um, if you want to hang out with me some more, I post videos usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays when life permits. If you want to hang out with me outside of that, you can find me on Instagram. I am super active there. I'm always pinning stuff on Pinterest. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on TikTok. You could even find me on Twitter, but no one really follows me there. All right, guys, if you have not yet, give this video a like and drop a comment. Believe it or not, those things help my channel and I greatly appreciate them. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. You can even hit the bell for notifications for when I create new content. Um, I'm really, really bad at saying goodbye. I never quite know how to do it. So, bye. Yeah, that's it. Just bye.